The AD Pro Toolkit can be installed on Windows 10, Windows 11, or Windows Server. You can put it on a member server or the domain controller. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to install it on a Windows 11 computer. So to start, once you download the, the file, just extract the zip file. And then run the MSI installer. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Uh, leave the default installation folder. Click Next. Uh, our software is digitally signed. Click Yes. Uh, you can go ahead and click Launch the AD Pro Toolkit. It also puts an icon on the desktop. Click Finish and it will launch the installer. Uh, you'll get a pop-up since uh, you're, if you're demoing, if you're try, if you're trying the software out, you'll get a pop-up the license expires in 14 days. Uh, it's fully functional for 14 days. You can just click uh, Close to start using the software. So now I'll just kind of do a quick walkthrough of how to use the software. Uh, by default, it's going to use your logged on credentials to the computer for the software. Um, so if I open up the command prompt and did who am I, or it shows me right there, I'm logged in as Robert Allen. So that's what it's going to use the software. It's going to use my Robert Allen account. Um, and you can change that by coming into settings and edit, edit the domain settings. You can change it to a different user. You can also select a different domain or domain controller. So to start off, um, there is a section for tools and a section for reports, and there's a built-in scheduler. So the user management tools here, you can do some basic management of users. You can create users. You can check for locked accounts. So you can see when I click check for locked users, there's any locked accounts, it's gonna display them and display some information here like bad password time, locked out time, uh, group membership information. So there's a there's a there's some quick uh, links here to access some tools, create users, create bulk users, offboard users, export users. Um, and there's some actions over here on the right for, for the selected account. And then there's additional tools in this section here. There's a, group management tools, there's security tools, and there's some other tools. I'm not gonna go uh, in depth on each one of these tools, so I'll have separate videos for that, but just this is just a quick walkthrough. And then the reporting section, you can see there's multiple report categories. Um, you can literally just find the report or you can use the search option here and click run. Uh, by default, all the tools will run on the entire domain select browse if you want to narrow the report down to an OU or a group. Um, all the reports can be customized by clicking on the columns button here and then you can add remove whatever user attributes you want. If there's not an attribute listed you can click add custom attributes and add uh, your own attributes. All the reports can be exported out to CSV, Excel file, or a PDF. Uh, there is a search button here so you can search the reports. You can uh, click on any column to filter and sort them. So if I wanted to find all enabled or disabled, I could filter them this way, all disabled accounts. Uh, I can also right click and there's a whole bunch of options here. So there's an advanced filter, uh, there's grouping, sorting, all, all kinds of stuff there. So again, you can see there's password reports, logon reports, group reports, group membership reports, computer reports, group policy reports, OU and security reports. And uh, if you want to schedule any of the reports, you can click on scheduler, click on add, and then select what you want to automate. So you can automate reports, uh, various tools can be automated. Uh, so you just do that, give it a name, set credentials, click next, and then you can uh, set the task to run hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. You can have it email those results to you. If you want to, if you want to do emailing, just click the email settings button there. Um, so the, yeah, that's a quick overview. Uh, if you purchase a license, you will just come into license and then select your license file to activate it. There is under help, uh, there is logs, you can download logs, there's schedule logs. Uh, you can check for updates. When you open the software, it will automatically check for updates. 
If there's any available, it will pop up and let you know. On our website under resources, um, product documentation, there is a bunch of documentation and videos on how to use the software. If you need to contact support, uh, down at the bottom contact, you can send us an email to support at Active Directory Pro or give us a call. Um, you can contact support during the trial and we will um, help you out. So if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.